Okay, a little explanation behind this video. This video is going to show a lot of radioactive tables in this place, but it's not that big of a deal. And I'm going to show you the reason why here in a second. So here's a table that I bought that actually has radioactive tiles. These uh, red and orange bits on here on the tile are made with uranium, and that's why it's radioactive. And just to show you. So this may sound really bad, but it actually isn't. The type of radiation that's coming off of this table is primarily just alpha and beta radiation, which can be easily blocked by plastic or glass or wood. And so I'm going to show you that here right now. So as you can see, there's barely any radiation now coming uh, off of this table uh, that this Geiger counter can detect. That's because that glass, that pane of glass, nothing special about it, just uh, tempered glass was able to block that radiation. So that should kind of like calm down people's nerves, I think, a little bit that... Uh, it's not very penetrating radiation. It shouldn't be really anything to worry about. It's just a good way to kind of date these tiles and to make sure they actually came from the time period of when they're saying they came from. And I know seeing all of these types of tables and seeing all of this radioactive stuff, it kind of lessens the effect of it. Like you kind of get numb to seeing all of this radioactive um, items just out and about everywhere. And that's kind of the way you should be feeling with watching these videos is that it should be kind of more acclimating you to the idea that there is all of this radiation around us and it shouldn't really be anything that's like really feared more or something that's understood. But anyway, let's get on to the video now. So today I'm in Revival Antiques and this is one of the coolest places to visit in Pasadena. It has some of the best collection of uh, like Malibu, Catalina, California style tiles that I've ever seen. These loose tiles came from rescues, meaning that they were rescued from houses or buildings that were in the process of being renovated or torn down. And it's good that someone actually went in and saved these tiles because they're a good and beautiful piece of history. I had a clicker off on my Geiger counter here just to kind of get a read on what the center of this tile was giving me. And it looks like it's around 9,000 counts per minute, which is kind of radioactive. All of the orange or reds on these tiles are usually glazed with uranium oxide, and that's what makes them radioactive. Most of these tables, if they have the colors orange or red in them, they are going to be radioactive. And that's because uranium was used to achieve these colors in the past, and it gives them a very vibrant orange and red, but it also makes them a bit radioactive. Nothing too spicy though. The table that has these two parrots on it comes from Taylor Tiles, and they are around from 1930 until 1941. There were a lot of Taylor tables in this store, and the reason for that is because there are a little bit of history of the Southern California area. But not all of these tables are radioactive. Some have just a slight bit of radioactivity to them, and ones that look like they might be radioactive aren't but the majority of them in here are radioactive. This mission is also by Taylor Tiles. And of course, it's radioactive because it has that color. This is another table by Taylor. They did a lot of beautiful stuff back in their time, even if most of it's radioactive. You shouldn't really hold it against it because it doesn't cut down on the beauty. It just makes the tables a little more interesting. Yeah, that one's pretty spicy. 
mean, not too bad. It's about a thousand times above background radiation. All from that orange. This is kind of an interesting piece with this bull rider on it. It looked like it might have been some type of fold away setup in a kitchen. I only say that because it looks like it has a utensil rack mounted on there. Of course, I had to check that bowl, but it wasn't radioactive. Tables are fabulous. Yeah. They're fabulous tables. And yes, it is beautiful, like that lady said. Beautiful and radioactive. Looks like a lot of this stuff is just from estate sales and it just gets delivered at the shop and people see if it's something that looks good in their home as well. Now this table kind of caught my eye. Of course, the orange bits are radioactive because they use uranium, but it is more the design I was told by one of the workers there that this might be a batch elder tile table. Mainly because of the style used. I mean, these tables, some of them, are probably close to 100 years old. Walking around this place, you start to realize that we are surrounded by so much radioactive stuff that we have no idea is radioactive. Not all of these tiles are radioactive, those weren't. But these, that looks like they were recently saved, are radioactive. Here's another tailor setup. This one isn't as a table though. This one looks like it was meant to be hung on the wall, which is actually pretty cool. And I think where people would appreciate this more and it actually saved the tiles from an excessive amount of wear using it as a table.
I picked up a couple of these tiles. I like them because they're a solid color and the whole surface of them is radioactive because all that orange is uranium. Pretty cool to find because usually you don't see tiles like this individually. Hopefully you found this video entertaining somewhat and uh, maybe it kind of lessened your fears of uh, radiation, which is actually my goal <laughs> as a video maker is to kind of educate people and to show things that are around them that might look kind of scary when you first get into it, but actually isn't that bad once you learn about it. But anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Later.